Hello. Well, just to keep things interesting for you, we're squeezing all sorts of weather into this weekend. It's been snowing quite heavily here in Attenborough since around five o'clock, and we've got more snow on the way for this weekend. Good morning, everyone. Well, we started December with freezing temperatures. We're going to end it on more of a high note. Very good with the ladies. Have you spotted any nice ladies in Nottingham? No, 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 no. That's a rumour all day. <laughs> it's not a fact. OK, come on. Let's get your forecast. He's growling a little bit, but let's give it a go. <laughs> So we do have this band of rain, sleet and snow making its way northeastwards through today. We could see accumulations of up to five to ten centimetres. Further south it is a different story. But up north, well, do be aware that we are going to see some icy conditions. So worth bearing in mind if you are heading out on the road this morning. We are going to see some snowfall mainly on higher ground. Elsewhere it's going to fall as rain. So further south it is a different story. We've got misty, murky conditions, very damp and dreary through today. But that weather system that I showed you has been dragging in milder air from the Atlantic so a real difference in the temperatures down the western side of the country where we could see 10 degrees Celsius in some locations bear in mind it's been below freezing in many parts over the past few weeks this is a white Bengal tiger they've been hunted to extinction the last time they were seen in the wild was nearly 60 years ago and now the biggest collection in captivity in Britain is right here at the West Midlands Safari Park now throughout this week we'll be meeting some of these amazing creatures and the dedicated team who care for them and it's going to be a chilly one too with lows of two or three degrees celsius so that's how we start the day tomorrow lots of cloud around still the odd spot of drizzle in the air and in the afternoon temperatures not really up to much highs of six degrees celsius and by the time we get to late afternoon early evening we've got more rain on the way here it is and it's going to be making its way eastwards overnight tomorrow but the good news is this band of rain is going to be dragging in much milder air so you'll notice when we take a look at the outlook that temperatures are rising as we head through the week so it's looking unsettled on Wednesday Thursday is going to be your driest and brightest day if you are making plans to be outdoors have a good evening well, I've come 20 feet below ground level to the Old Angel Caves, one of more than 500 caves here in Nottingham. Now, those fascinating images were captured on a 3D laser scanner by two archaeologists from the University of Nottingham. All the caves are made of sandstone, which is not only very strong, but also very soft, which enabled people to carve through the caves. And you can actually see some tool markings on this cave here. And the caves were used for various different purposes, from dungeons to wine cellars to intricate tunnels. Sharon, come over here. Hello. Hello now, you're not a singer or an actress, so tell us why you're involved. Well, I'm, uh, I'm here because I'm a breast cancer survivor. And here's a lady who's never short of words. So if you do forget your lines, I'm sure she'll help you out. Yeah, I'm Now, here. Alison, you've worked with lots of A-listers, and here's another one to add to your list. Yeah, this is a, a fantastic <laughs> A-lister to be in, and it's so nice to be here with her, actually. Well, she's a great performer as well, isn't she? Yes. How about you do the weather for me tonight? Oh, Lucy, I think I'll <laughs> leave it to the professionals. OK, <laughs> have a great show you girls let's get your forecast well warm air moving up from france triggered those heavy thundery showers on saturday night you can see from the radar sequence this was the situation at 10 p.m on saturday now within about 12 hours we saw 15 millimeters of rain and that's a huge amount considering throughout the entire month of may we only saw 23 millimeters well it's the first of december which in the weather world means it's officially the start of winter and we're going to see some more wintry conditions over the next 24 hours through this evening most of the action snow wise will be in the northern half of our region the Met Office are advising that we could see up to five centimeters of snow and it's a similar story through the day tomorrow but almost anywhere could see a snow shower so that band of rain will arrive tonight so a wet night ahead of us it's staying quite breezy too and temperatures in double figures so a fairly mild night and then tomorrow morning well we're expecting the Sun to rise around 5 25 a.m. but we won't see much of it first thing so it's 7 30 a.m on a very cold morning here at the Chetwin Barracks in Chilwell and I'm with the Royal Engineers who are going on a basic fitness test but for me it's going to be tough and I have a feeling it's going to get even harder because I've got to carry this. We've done five miles, we've got three left to go. Is that meant to make me feel better? Because it doesn't. <laughs> Will you sign me up then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 